Good morning, dear students. Are you ready for today's class? Yesterday we completed or we studied about the heart. It's a pumping organ, isn't it? So coming to the next topic, that is the blood vessels of the heart. Heart is the important part of blood vessels. Okay, the first one that is called the vena cava. So you can see here the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. This is very important blood vessels in the heart. Okay, so the first one that is called the vena cava or the superior vena cava. That is a large vein that brings in deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body such as head and the shoulders. Okay, but superior vena cava is a large vein. This is a large vein. This is a large vein. This vena cava is a large blood diagram. Deoxygenated blood diagram. That is collected from the upper part of the body. That is the upper part. That means from the or up to the shoulders. Shoulder in the Mughalotola region is the upper part part and the parayanad. okay so especially head and the shoulder region okay that is called the superior vena cava once again i repeat the superior vena cava is a large vein that brings deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body such as head and the shoulders okay another one you can see the inferior vena cava kandalo the thala kaanichirikkunnadini yana inferior vena cava enna parayunnathu so the inferior vena cava is another large vein that brings deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body such as trunk and lungs legs okay in inferior vena cava kandallo this is also this is another blood vessel or a large vein that also brings deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body. Namada body the lower part of the blood deoxygenated blood in a collective on the major blood vessel an inferior vena cava. Okay, that is especially from the trunk and the legs. Okay, so both these veins are open into the right atria. Lay, but me and vein, other than and major itola vena cava, superior and inferior vena cava that opens into the right oracle. Le, right atrial right, 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 open chedri Not only the left, only or only only into the right oracle. Le, right oracle like another open chedri That is the first one. And coming to the ne next one, that is called pulmonary vein. Okay, the next one is okay, pulmonary vein. You can see here the labeling pulmonary vein, and they bring the oxygenated blood from the right and left lungs. Hmm? Right, right, and the other one left lungs in the oxygenated blood in a collective in the very animal pulmonary veins in the parayanada. Okay, and these pulmonary veins are opened into the left oracle. Upon after the collection of these oxygenated blood, these veins open into the left oracle. Okay, but lungs in them oxygenated out of blood in a collective, the lingual purest form of blood in a collective, the TV Rengotana, ethic another heart in the left oracle like an ethic another, not to the right portion, only to the left, left oracle. Okay, that is about the pulmonary vein. And coming to the next one, that is called the pulmonary artery. Here you can see the pulmonary artery, that means. It leaves the right ventricle carry the deoxygenated blood to both lungs for oxygenation. But pulmonary arteries are not carried on the bone of the blood in a right ventricle in a deoxygenated blood in a lungs like a thick in the pulmonary artery is a main function. In the end, the lungs like a thick in the for the purification purpose for the oxygenation. Le? Oxygenation J and Vendi Lingal oxygen content blood look at and Vendi Adhine lengths like ethikina blood vessel ne and the Malindi Bare another pulmonary arteries and the bare another. Okay. It leaves the right ventricle carries the deoxygenated blood to both the lens for oxygenation. Okay. That is about the next one. And the coming to the another one that is called iota. Okay, you can see here the iota that is the largest blood vessel in the heart that is called iota. Okay, 
that iota is leaves the left ventricle carry oxygenated blood to all the part of the body through its branches appo nokke ee iota aanu ettom velliya blood vessel ennu parayunnathu appo ee blood vessel allengil ee iota endo cheyum oxygenated blood ine endu cheyum left ventricle ninnu sharirathe ella bhagangalilekkum ethikkunnu through its branches adinde branches lude nammada body le entire parts lekku ethikkunna tharana that is iota okay so these are the different blood vessels occurs in the heart once again i repeat which are the different types of blood vessels in the heart that is vena cava that is two types of vena cava that is superior and inferior vena cava and then pulmonary vein then pulmonary artery and iota okay hope you understand this section clear